if you watch this video till the end then i can assure you that you'll get a successful unlock first thing first open the frp tool named sum fw i don't know how you pronounce it then click on then double click on it to open then you'll get a prompt message asking you to allow the publisher to make changes to your device just click on yes it doesn't have any virus it's totally virus free then the tool will be opened in no time as you can see our phone is locked so go ahead and click on factory reset click on factory reset then you'll get this type of prompt message on your phone saying erasing so i forwarded this video to 4.5x to speed up the process we need to speed the process to speed up the process then here we are on the welcome screen then you need another device go to chrome then search for alliance shield x qr code alliance shield x qr code and then go to the first to the first website go to the first website the official website just then scroll 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 until you see some sort of qr code this is the code you're going to scan then go and tap seven times on your mobile phone then connect to any wi-fi it can be your mobile hotspot or any wi-fi network or you can use mobile data as well then you'll see checking info then scan for qr code go and scan that qr code from your phone the phone that you want to unlock is the one that will scan the qr code i need to re-enter my wi-fi password then i'll go and click on next then i'll wait for device to set getting ready for work setup then click on use for two profiles then click on agree to terms of policy service policy then you have to wait for a few minutes creating work profile you just need to wait for a few minutes for it to finish the work profile then you'll get here to either exit or sign in so click on sign in then just click on next then next then next one more time then got it even if you didn't read all those then you need to log into your alliance shield account you can create one you can create for free it's totally free to create an alliance shield x but the problem but the bigger problem with the alliance shield you can only log into three devices or you can either delete one of the previously connected devices to allow more room or more space for another device then you need to make sure nox is verified then click on app info or app management app manager then click on search then search for service mode go ahead and search for service mode click on service mode then go to activities then scroll down scroll down until you reach finish then count one two three to the one ending with usb settings then click on open then make sure you set mtp plus adb make sure mtp plus adb is connected then type the following command adb shell then hit enter then just click on enter now first allow usb debugging make sure usb debugging is allowed then click on enter 
then you'll see demon started successfully and we have a12s as our shell then go ahead and type pm disable hyphen user space hyphen hyphen user zero space com dot android dot system ui we need to disable the system ui alone the system ui only disabling the kg client might might not work very well on some device some device will state phone locked because device services was uninstalled without authorization then after hitting on enter it will state new system ui the new state of system ui is disabled user then you have a shell you can continue typing the commands that you wish but always make sure it says system ui new state disabled user and you need to have a shell something like this stating the name of your device then something like cache in front of it if you don't have that symbol then you haven't allowed usb debugging or either you don't have android platform tools then your device will auto restart after saying phone locked the phone can't be used without authorization then the phone will automatically restart it will automatically restart but it will take a very long time so i forwarded the video then you'll get to this screen i'll allow to access data from the phone then i'll click on to a great terms of service then i'll click on finish and once i click on finish my device is unlocked boom it's that it is just that very simple and i will appreciate if you subscribe to my youtube channel and you can either support me in any way by subscribing by sharing the video and you can message me on instagram on any part that you never understood i'll try to explain better i wish you the very best